the Joe Rogan experience. Do you cry ever? I cry for happy things. Yeah. Most of the time. That's I cry nice. when I'm happy for oh, people. That's good. But I cry if I think about, you know, like people that I miss and, you know, yeah. stuff like that. That's I, good. I definitely cry. Yeah. Well, I, I, I cry a lot for like things that make me happy. That's uh, that's really more, yeah. That's cute. Yeah, I cry for people. I cry when I'm happy for people. But uh, yeah, I cry. I feel that. Yeah, no, I'm not scared you. of emotions. Yeah. You know, I that's just, nice. Yeah, I'm scared of weakness. I don't like weakness, but I don't think mm-hmm. crying is weakness. I think no. it's weak to not want to cry. I think yes. it's not. It's weak to not want to embrace the full spectrum of life. You know, and life is filled with beautiful things and amazing things, and it's also filled with horrible things. Like, they're all there. And to deny that, I think, is to deny reality, It is, and that is to be delusional. I'm afraid of being delusional more than I'm afraid of crying. I think not... it's really important to, th- that you just said that you cry and you think it's important. Oh, because I think it's... so many people that listen to you do not – so many men don't cry, Joe. You That's... know that. They do, I think. They I just don't, don't think want they do. people to know. Well, maybe they don't, but I just don't think they'll allow themselves to. And I'm, I put myself in that category. Like it's really hard for me to cry. Like I have to, I have to be talking to someone about my. I have to have it kind of mirrored back to me, my emotions, so yeah. that I have license to cry. But it's not something that that comes naturally to people. But I think it's important to do. We were just, I cried on the podcast just real recently. Really? Yeah, there was a guy on uh, Josh Dubin from the. He's a, a lawyer, and they were talking about the Innocence Project. He works with the Innocence Project, and they uh, got this uh, poor man who is uh, an immigrant. I believe he's from Guatemala, who was unjustly accused of murder, and they they got him out. And you know, they were just going through the whole story about how the prosecutors were trying to keep him in jail, even though he knew he was innocent. And they they finally got him released, and they're talking about this thing, and I just start crying. Yeah, and this poor guy is thinking about this guy who like makes his way to America to try to do better for himself, and it winds up getting caught up in this this fake murder oh, ac- this accusation. And yeah, yeah, I cried about that. I yeah. I just I think men need to cry more, and and I is that another one of your folders? Yeah, like men crying and then <laughs> I'm seriously turned on by men crying. I love it. Can I really put that out there? I, I, I the one time my ex boyfriend cried in front of me. You got hot. I was blowing him while he was like still <laughs> like sniffling, like still his tears were like hitting me on the head. I'm not joking you. It was I felt so inappropriate doing it, but I was like, this is so hot that you are opening up and you are emoting mm. and that mm. I don't have to deal with these feelings on a in another way, which is you being mad at me or you like bottling up your anger. I mean, these feelings have to come out somewhere. It just was so erotic to me to see a guy like so vul- so sensitive. 